Hey everyone, welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. We are back at it after a little bit of a break. This is an eight lap pre-final in the 100cc Masters class out of Dallas Karting Complex. Starting on pole, there are actually four Masters in this class and two seniors, we're gonna lump them together. Looking at James to the right for green, he drops the green and beats it in the 203, gets a really good start and goes straight to the front. We'll have a look behind this. That is Jacob there in the red and white Burrell cart. If you look at the surface, it looks like it's been ground down. That's because it has been. Long story short, this track used to be super slippery. They worked on it, and now it has a lot more grip. And this is our first time racing on this track in about two years. I made a whole video about it, showing what it was like before and comparing it to now if you're interested. If you're new to racing and you're doing your research and trying to get into this, welcome. I'm gonna try to explain to the best of my ability what's going on in this race so you have a better understanding. And right there I get into Vicent accidentally. If I would have gone around him, I would have given the spot back up and let him back in front of me. Could have gotten a penalty for that, and I don't like to race that way either. We're coming down here for this fast right-hander. If you look to your left, if you get this wrong, you're gonna get met potentially by a barrier and or a fence. And besides it being potentially hazardous to your health, it's also or it could be hazardous to your pocket, but these cards can get expensive to fix if you hit something hard enough. So also to give you a little bit more insight about what's going on in this race, Vicent, I met him out here racing rental cards. That's where we both started. And we both got into club racing, Vicent, prior to this. He hasn't driven in two years, okay? This is his first race in two years. Prior to this, he was doing a regional event called, or a regional series called the Texas Sprint Racing Series. A lot of really, really good drivers. Vicent won a pre-final there, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but, but it is a big deal because there's a lot of fast drivers in that series, like I was saying. Also too, Vicent's on old tires. I'm on pretty new tires. The difference between my practice tires to these tires and qualifying that I have on right now is about a half a second. So. That's what's going on as far as on track. He's coming back after a two year hiatus. I have better tires. He's still doing really well. I'm trying to stay as close to him as possible. And I'm also studying where on track he's better than me. Like he, did, he gets a good run out of these two corners better than I do. But right here, I tend to do a little bit better than him. Especially in this next left hairpin. So that's information I'm kind of keeping in my head for later. Maybe I can attack him there later to try to get the spot. But I can't make any mistakes and let him drive away from me because he's a fast driver. You can tell it doesn't even look like he's had a two year break, but he has. So this corner here was one that he kind of would get me on. So even though I'm a little bit afraid of that corner because of, you know, it's a fast corner and I mess up right there and you could get an accident you do still have to be a little bit aggressive and I'm getting a little bit more comfortable every time I go through there, a little bit more confidence. And Jacob, who's still a pretty new carter, I think he started last year, if I'm not mistaken. He's doing a great job of hanging in there. Progressively getting better race over race, which is good to see. We're just hanging out, waiting for Vincent to make a mistake. And right here, Jacob, comes in a little too hot and he makes a mistake and you can see how one little mistake turns into a real big one look how much the gap opened up from us to jacob he's having a really good race a little error now he's out of it gaps opening up a little bit it's not good so i'm working really hard to catch back up to him because if I make a little mistake, like I was saying. He doesn't make. He makes no mistakes. He's gonna start pulling away like he is. That's a kind of a tough corner to nail and get right. And again, we don't have tons of time on this track in these carts. So that little computer on my. Steering wheel, it's called a data logger. The brand is micro on the two little dots, green dots, now three. That lets me know that I'm going two or three tenths faster than my best lap. So I'm kind of glancing at that here and there, checking out how things are going. I'm also able to see the lap, 
the lap uh, that we're on. So it's good information to have. Kind of far away from Visa, but he could, he's going to make a mistake in this corner right here. Doesn't quite nail that corner like he wanted to. And I was able to get on the gas just a little quicker than him, which gave me a good drive out of the corner and allowed me to make the pass into the lead. So now I can go defensive and make it really hard for him to pass me, or I can just drive normal lines like I was, like I was doing in qualifying, or like b was doing before I passed him. Given that I, I had to work that hard to catch up to him and then pass him, I'm gonna start doing the same thing, just drive my normal lines. He still has to not only catch me, but also pass me once he gets to me. So if I start going defensive, it's gonna slow me down and give him more opportunities to attack. So we don't wanna do that. Really important to not overdrive and mess up. And right there you can see the three little red dots. That's not good means I'm going slower than I was before, but it's no time to panic. We're still on track. We're still going pretty fast. You see it kind of drop down to one, back to two. You can't freak out and start turning around and looking to see where he's at every corner because it's just going to mess you up. Just drive your race. I know he's back there. I just don't know how far back there he is. I'm going to have a look here going down the straightaway. Try to gauge where he is. I'm going to look to my left. Now, he's to the right in my blind spot, so I don't see him. I'm thinking, man, I don't know where he's at. I must be blowing him away. Well, not sure he's right there. Coming down for the last lap. Again, don't really know where he's at. I'm still going to look for him. Right there, I turn around. I think I do see him that time. I don't like to turn around a lot, but I also do want to be aware of where the competition is. I don't want to get surprised. Again, driving... Not as fast as I can, but probably 90 to 95 percent of what I can do. And you see the the green dots reappear. That's good. The reason I don't go 100 percent is because if you're on that edge, you can fly off track and lose the race. There's no reason to lose the race. I'm winning the race. Go win the race. Don't go lose the race. So just make this last corner here and we bring it home and get the win. First win in a while, I think my second pre-final win ever. Don't win very often in this or rental carts anymore, so this is nice. I like the hum of the carts here. Kind of sounds cool. So it's nice to get a win again. Again, it hasn't happened very often recently, but if you're still with me and you're, and you're wondering if this is for you and you know if it looks impossible to get, it, to get into, it's not. Again, Visa and I started in rental carts, and now we're doing this. All you need is a little bit of money to buy one of these carts and just put a little time into it and learn how to drive it and just progressively get better and better. There's nothing about myself or Visa or anyone else that races that makes, that makes us any better than you and makes it to where you can't do this, other than, again, the money. You just have to have enough money to buy one of these and to maintain it and to run it. But um, thanks so much for hanging out this far into the video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below this win sets me up really nice for the final i'll be starting pole position in the final race i'll post that video and i will see you on the next one thanks so much for the support see you next time